doing? We're good. How are you doing? Good? Good. Right. Excellent. Today, have you ever looked at a cartoon and you said, ah, I don't know what it's saying. I, I, I can't figure it out. Well, we're going to use what we have learned out there in TV land, okay? See, think, and wonder. All right. And those will answer your questions because yep. cartoons, maps, graphs, any visuals, the answer is always there. So let's begin at the board right now. Okay. What do you see? Name me some <laughs> things you see in this. Uh, I see countries. Countries. Flags on people with yep. country names. There's some country names here. Germany, England, Russia, uh, France, Austria. Okay. What do you see, Craig? Most everybody's holding a weapon. Yes. Ooh. They're all holding weapons. They all have uh, swords. Yes. They're like military and military outfits. So they're military. Yes. Okay. They're in their military outfits. There's a, a sword up top yeah. in the middle of a woman. Yeah, but that's kind of different, isn't it? Yes. It, it's a sword in, yeah, there's, there it is. And, and key word right here, the peace of Europe. Okay. So now we start to think, well, what are they doing? What are these military guys doing? As you think about this, what are they doing right now? They're all pointing in different places. They're pointing. Yes. They're at each other. Let's yes. do that right now. You did it. You did it. You did it. Right. Okay. That's what they're doing. Okay. So the question is, who's to blame for destroying the peace of Europe according to the cartoon? Ah. Well, there's one guy so that's not pointing, though. This guy right over here, that's not. Yeah, but he's standing here. Mm -hmm. oh, so they're all blaming yeah. each other. They are blaming each other. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to talk about the crime of the ages, which is World War I, and who started it and why. Right. So let's go to a map, and let's look at this a little bit further. Now we're going to look at a map, and we're going to do a see, think, wonder on the map. So what do you see, Craig? I see uh, a legend or a key right there. This is a key. You got it. Key or legend. Maps always have keys and legends. They have to. If they, if they don't, you can't answer questions. It, it is your guide, like your GPS sure. tells you where you're going. Good. Okay, Lo Laura, what is one thing you see? I see different colors. That different colors. Each color <coughs> represents things on a map. And if it doesn't, usually it'll have hash marks like this or it'll be like this. But normally, okay, for us, we got colors, which is cool, right? Yes. Okay, so tell me. The different colors. We got this color. I don't know what the this gray color. is. Kind out. of grayish. We got a blue, and then we got a neutral. 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 We don't care about the neutrals. We want to get down to who are the three main countries. Three main countries. I want to know the three big countries that made up the Allies. Go. So I would say France. France it's is big, one. Right in the middle. I'd say Russia. They're big. They're Russia. Huge. And then it's size-wise. Great Britain and Ireland. All right. You know why Great Britain and Ireland? Because one out of every five miles in the world was controlled by Great Britain. No mm -hmm. kidding. At, at the beginning of World War One. Okay. Wow. So who makes up the central powers? Let's uh, do those. So we're looking oh, for blue. Let's do those yes. in red. Uh, blue. Yes. Thank you. Okay. okay so what do we got? Do um, I'm going to go big one right in the middle. Austria-Hungary. This is an empire. Good. Okay. Germany. Right. Germany, yes. I'm gonna go with Bulgaria right there. Oh. What you do you it's, but it's a it's a it's I a central understand, power. but this is a bigger one. Ah. This is Turkey. Turkey. Gotcha. Bulgaria is only a little country. Okay. This is Turkey, so it's a little bit bigger, okay? okay? So you always have to look at the context, and we're looking at empires and major countries. Now, when I do this with my students in class, we do a big, huge map of the world, and we color these, so you would see that Turkey's about five times the size of Bulgaria, gotcha. okay? Gotcha, all right. On this map, uh, but you know what? You got it. So three main countries that make up the central powers. Look how easy it is. Right. All we we do didn't is look. spend that long. No, nope, people get messed map. up because they spend too long on maps. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, this yeah. one's a little bit hard to read, but we're just going to look at one thing in the see, think, wonder. Okay. Do you see a difference between this map to this map? Yes. Okay. What do you see? Um, that there's a lot more lines and country divisions here than there are over in here. Okay, there's a lot there's... more countries in this map right. than there are in that one. Yes. So and I... some of them are different. Yes. yes. They're different shapes and sizes. They're in... no, so guess who that. lost the war? Even though I don't know, guess who lost the war? I'm going to guess Germany, These two Austria. Because yeah. Yeah. they get broken up into other countries. That's right. Mm. What was life like during the war? Well, it was trenches. Yes. And we see some things in the trench. Let's just talk about life in a trench and what it was like. Because, it, well, it, I don't know. You tell me if you like. Would you, would you like to live here for two, three months? It just looks like no. this. No. See, what do you see? Desolation. 
Okay. Just dirt. Yes. Dirt. Lots, see lots of and lots dirt and lots right there. Yep. Lots of dirt, of dirt. and puddles. Yep. Puddles. Below grade. Yep. What else do you see? Barbed wire. You're missing something. Oh, rats. Rats. <laughs> Look at the These rats. rats were, some of the soldiers used to say the rats grew the size of cats, but they had lived down here. They had to sleep down here. Mm. This guy has a periscope and he's looking out into no man's land. This guy is digging the trench, making it deeper. And you see these right here? Sandbags. Sandbags, why would they put sandbags up there? Uh, to give them a raised height. On uh, bullet protection? Yes, but notice this guy, he's doing what? Resting. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. They slept in the trenches. They wrote letters to mom in the trenches. It was pretty amazing. As we think about a trench, this, they played cards, they, I mean, everything's done in these so trenches. So it's not like they were in the barracks and then showed up for work in the morning and went to the trench and then left the you trench slept, and went back. You slept here. That was um, where your home was for your tour of duty. And by the way, this kept you away from the snow and the rain right here, just this little wow. carpet sure. yep. and the covering. Not very much, right? And I, I want to leave you with the idea of what did they really do in, in this as you see, think, and wonder. Look at how life goes on with these guys. Daily hygiene, keeping shaved. Yeah, might be once a month. Maybe. You maybe may get a bath once a month. This guy is actually getting his hair washed. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Right mm -hmm. here. You can see the hair is getting washed yep. right here. Cool. He's pouring water on him. He's getting shaved, so it's a barber. This is a cool picture. I like this. And, and in here, sometimes they had wood, but sometimes the wood would break. There's some really big horror stories about the trenches, and it's not good to show you. You sure. can go on the web and find out some stuff yourself. But I do want to show you one last thing if I can. If you go down here, if you go to the BBC guides, this is interactive, so they take you through the trenches. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. All you right. can actually pretend you're in a trench and answer questions. Cool. All right. So well, thanks, Howard, for coming. Yeah, My pleasure. Thank you. This has been thank you. History Hotline, talking about maps. So we, See, think, and wonder. <laughs> Sorry right. about that. That's all right. All right. all right. We'd like to thank Howard for being here tonight. And no stay right problem. there. We'll be thank back you. in a second.